water is about to hold. It's the show is starting. I am sending 30 gallons of water going forward. Yeah. Going back to Newton's third law. For every action there must be an opposite. opposite. So when I go this forward, right, I am going to get X, and X is going to get an equal but opposite X. You with me? Yeah. yeah. We're going to actually let you hold the nozzle. I'm going to turn it on. You're going to be able to switch it from 30 to 60 to 95 to 125, and you'll actually feel the kickback on the hose line. And that is Newton at work. the handle. What did the nozzle want to do? It wanted to go forward. Why? Right. You're right on. We are going from moving to static. That's like a car moving, putting the brakes on. It's an inclined plane. For the fire service, we like 70 degrees for climbing. It's an optimal, it's an optimal angle. So again, geometry pays an important part in the fire service, and we have a quick cheater way on the fire ground to check. Stand on the bottom rung. If you reach forward, standing straight up, and your arms are straight out, you are at the proper climbing angle, 70 degrees. Yes, sir. Uh, what if there's like a fire upstairs and would you use a ladder to get to it and spread it out? It depends. If it was my crew and I have a fire on the second floor, the first thing I would do is I would have them uh, shoot water through the window to knock the fire down. And then if I could go, I would try to go up the steps. But my first initial thought process, put water on the fire, knock the fire down, makes it safer for me makes it safer for the people that might be trapped inside because the fire is bad, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's our inclined plane. A wedge. What's that? With an axe oh, cut through a window. Spot on. Hey, an axe. Axe. It's right here. Right? An axe. It's an axe. And we have two kinds of axes in the fire service. What you have there we call a flathead axe. We use one side for cutting. We use the other side for whacking. It's a striking tool. Okay. This is called a Halligan bar. This was invented by Assistant Chief in New York. You'll never get what his last name was. Halligan. Halligan, right on. Okay, so if you'll notice, look at the taper on this right here. We call this the claw end or the fork end. Notice how it's tapered? What is that? It's an inclined plane. And it's curved just right that this actually becomes part of the inclined plane. Yeah. Would your hand be the fulcrum? My hand would be the fulcrum and the effort force. <laughs> the resistance force is the door. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> everybody thinks that firefighting is yeah, I'm telling you, the fire service is chock full of physics and chemistry. <laughs> <laughs>